Hello fellow moviegoers, and welcome to another episode of Movie Dome. The show where I talk about all things to do with movies, and to pay my respects more to Robbie Coltrane, I thought I'd make him my first actor spotlight here on the show. So, a little bit of background information. Anthony Robert Macmillan, 30th of March 1950 to 14th of October 2022, known professionally as Robbie Coltrane, was a Scottish actor and comedian. He gained worldwide recognition in the 2000s for playing Rubius Hagrid in the Harry Potter film series. He was appointed an OBE in the 2006 Year Honours by Queen Elizabeth II for his services to drama. In 1990, Coltrane received the Evening Standard British Film Award, Peter Sellers Award for Comedy. In 2011, he was honoured for his outstanding contribution to film and the British Academy Scotland Awards. Coltrane stated his career appearing alongside Hugh Laurie, Stephen Fry and Emma Thompson in the sketch series Al Fresco. In 1987, he starred in the BBC miniseries Tutti Frutti with Thompson, for which he received his first British Academy Television Award for Best Actor nomination. Coltrane then gained national prominence starring as criminal psychologist Dr. Eddie Fitz Fitzgerald in the ITV television series Cracker. But yeah, this isn't this is about his filmography, so we we are actually going to jump straight down to that. And only his acting in film. So and that Dates as far back as 1980, by the way. So, 1980, Flash Gordon. His role there was a man at the airfield. Death Watch, a limousine driver. 1981, Subway Riders as a crime detective. 1982, Britannia Hospital as striking worker on picket line. It was a cameo role. 1983. Ghost Dance as George and Krull as Run. 1984. Chinese Boxers as Harwood. Uh, 1985. National Lampoon's European Vacation as Man in the Bathroom. The Supergrass as Detective Sergeant Troy and Defense of the Realm as Leo McCaskey. 1986. Carvaggio as Scipione. Sorry if I've butchered that pronunciation. Absolute Beginners as Mario. Mario! Not that one. Uh, Mona Lisa as Thomas. 1987. Eat the Rich as Jeremy. The Fruit Machine as Annabelle? Oh no, no, this is 1988. 1988. The Fruit Machine as Annabelle? What's he playing a girl for? Henry V as Falstaff, and Bert Rigby, you're a fool, as Sid, Temp- Sid Trample, sorry. Uh, I think that might have been a 1989 film. 1989, Let It Ride as Ticket Seller, Danny the Champion of the World as Victor Hazel, or Victor Hazel, Victor Hazel, and Slipstream as Montclair. Nineteen ninety. Midnight breaks as Hodge, nuns on the run, 
as Charlie McManus slash sister Inviolata and perfectly normal as the perfectly normal as Alonzo Turner. Okay, we're going to cross into 1991 here with The Pope Must Die as the Pope. Triple bogey on a par five hole. Stefano Bacardi. 1992. Oh, what a night as Todd. 1993. Boswell and Johnson's tour of the Western Isles. Dr. Samuel Johnson. The Adventures of Huck Finn as Duke. 1995. He was in GoldenEye as Valentin Dmitrovic. Zukovsky. 1997, Buddy as Dr. Bill Lintz. 1998, Frogs for Snakes as Al Santana. Montana as The Boss. 1999, The World is Not Enough as the same character as before, Valentin Dmitrovich Zukovsky. Message in a Bottle as Charlie Toshi. Or Toshi. Okay, 2001. On the nose as Delaney. From Hell as Sergeant Peter Godley. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone as Hagrid, obviously. 2002. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets as Hagrid. 2004. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban as Hagrid. Ocean's Twelve as Matsuki, Van Helsing, the London Assignment as Mr. Hyde. Two thousand and five, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire as Hagrid. As Hagrid, Storm. Uh, Two thousand and six, Stormbreaker as the Prime Minister. Provoked as Lord Edward Foster. 2007. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix as Hagrid. 2008. The Tale of Despero as Gregory. The Brothers Bloom as the Curator. 2009. Gooby as... Gooby. A voice role. That was a voice role for Gregory as well. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince as Hagrid, 2010 and 2011. Hagrid in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 and 2. 2012. Ah, now this is his homeland. Brave as Lord Dingwall. Great Expectations as Mr. Jaggers and 2014 Effie Gray as Doctor. N not that one. And seeing as this is Movie Dome, this is supposed to be just for spotlighting his film career. Now, that was it. So, yeah, there you go. So. That is it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed that little look into Robbie Coltrane's film career. And the next episode will be the 2022 Halloween special. And I've got something special in mind for that one. You have to wait and see what it is. Until then... Thanks for watching. And I'm going to cut the camera. <laughs>